Hi everyone, welcome to Heaven Healing in Tarot. This is Christina. And today we have a new pick a card for you. This is for one of my subscribers, Yvette. Hello Yvette, I'm trying it for you. We're gonna give it a shot. Um, this one is gonna be who is your soulmate? Your romantic soulmate, the one that you wanna be with in this lifetime. We're gonna get their personality traits. The reason why I've never really, um, you know, done a reading exactly like this is because we all have more than one soulmate. So I could be describing somebody here, but your life takes a different path and you're going to be with a different romantic soulmate. So we all have more than one on this earth. So just keep that in mind. You know, I, I kind of like to be as accurate as possible. So that's why I, I don't normally do readings like this. But you know what? I thought, why not? Let's give this a shot. Even if it's not set in stone, let's who, let's see who our soulmates, who they could possibly be, like what their personality is like. All right. So we're going to we're going to give it a shot. Hopefully um, I describe somebody you want to be with. Um, but if I don't describe somebody you want to be with, just know you could choose no <laughs> and pick a different soulmate. You know, there's a bunch of them. I mean, our soul tribes are huge. And, you know, when we're non-physical, we have a big, huge soul tribe. So there's, you know, many of us that come to Earth together and we agree to work with each other. Um, depending on, you know, our circumstances and our, our lessons we choose to learn. So if there's, you know, if this isn't the one you want, there's always another one. So just keep that in mind. All right. But um, with that disclaimer, let's uh, get some personality traits. But before I get started, let's send out some healing. So take a deep breath with me. All right. Pile one is divine sensuality. I'm just going to call it sensuality in the in the comment. I mean, in the description. Pile two is honor the masculine. So we're going to call it the masculine. And pile three is the sulky. So, of course, I'll call it the sulky. All right. So uh, take a moment. Pick the pile you are most drawn to. And uh, we'll get hopefully we'll get a sneak peek into what your uh your person's like. All right, pile one. Um, you pick sensuality. This one's going to be your reading. Um, I'm going to put this card aside. We'll come back to it, right? But we're going to put it aside for now. Let's get some tarot first. Ace of Cups. Six of Swords. Five of Swords. Seven of Wands and Justice. All right. So who is your romantic soulmate? They are somebody who loves very deeply. They make righteous decisions. They are wise beyond their years. They are in tune with their inner voice. There's something very different and special about this person. Something that, you know, really makes you attracted to them. They just have like a, their own little it factor for you or, you know, like the sparkle in their eye or something, something that really attracts you to them. They are inquisitive, strategically minded, always looking for like new approaches to solve a problem. Like they try to think outside the box and try to come up with, you know, clever solutions. So they could be very clever there. Um, I think that they, um, at the time that you meet them, might be stuck in a cycle of conflict. I think that's what that Five of Swords is telling me. Because, you know, normally when a five, when I think of five of swords as a personality trait, I think of somebody who wants to win at any cost. 
with as much love as your person feels, I don't think they'll want to win at any cost, but I do think that they do like to win. So, or they, at least they don't like to lose, <laughs> um, but that's okay. I think that, you know, with seven wands tells me that your person has strong convictions. They're not afraid to fight for what is right. They can be brave and uh, determined, right? Because they like to win. So they, they have that competitive drive a little bit there. Um, you know, sometimes they, they uh, I don't want to say they're ruthless, but they don't let others stand in their way. Like if they, there's something they want, they're going to figure out a way to get it because they're clever, right? Um, sometimes they can be defensive. Sometimes they have, uh, they see bias. So like, you know. They really love deeply, so they love their own family. So they, you know, like, especially if it's like something to do with their kids or when they have kids, um, you know, they're going to think their kid's the best. They're going to have a little bit of a bias there. I think it's all right, though. I don't, I don't see anything wrong with that. I, but, you know, all in all, I think your person's decent. I think they make decisions carefully. I think they're good with their words. I think that they will place a high value on education. Uh, I feel like they're practical. I feel like um, they're practical, but they like to win. So they have that edge. They have that edge to them. Um, I think they're very romantic, very romantic at heart. So let's get some more. They're not afraid to heart of hard work. All right. Well, that's good. They, they are a hard worker. And this could be somebody who's younger than you. Look at that. A younger man. Now, I don't like to put gender in tarot. So I'm just going to say a younger person. And younger could be a month younger, a week younger. They don't have to be like years younger. But I don't know. I kind of feel like there might be a little bit of an age difference. Just a couple of years, but not, but still. Um, and maybe that's not somebody you usually uh, tend to date. Maybe you tend to date some people who are older. Um, so that might surprise some of you. Because I, I, I feel like a little bit is surprised by that. Yeah, they're giving me a confirmation on that. So, all right. We've got illumination. So to me, that means that your person um, I could be illuminated. Like they, they kind of um, know what to do. They're clever, right? They know how to figure things out. So I think that they, ha they could be spiritual. Um, you know, when you're, uh, when you're have illumination, like you see things clearly, like you get it. So they might understand how the world works, how the universe works. They might understand that, or they might be um, somebody who believes in like the law of attraction or, um, you know, things like that. So I think that they have some kind of awareness to, um, I don't want to say awoke, because I don't really like that term, awoke. But I, I, I do feel like they are aware. Trusting your, they, yeah, they trust their intuitions. Why? Because they're aware. They're aware that their, their intuition is important. They're, they can listen to it and they can follow those gut feelings. So usually when you have somebody who is that in tune with who they are and can trust their intuition, things usually work out for them. They're usually, they tend to be lucky or you know, somebody that you would see is lucky. I don't believe in luck, but I believe we make our own, um, you know, we attract our own circumstances to our life. But I do feel like your person tends to, things tend to work out for them. You'll find what you seek. So evidently your person, um, again, things work out for them. 
they find what they seek. They, they figure out ways to achieve their goals. They figure out ways to get what they want. They're smart. They don't like to lose. They, they're a little competitive, um, but they love deeply. So good things, I think. All right, now you got seduction on this card and you got divine sensuality here. So your person's going to be highly sexual, highly sensual. They're going to want it. Um, they're going to be super attracted to you, but I think that they are going to be seductive. I think that they are going to be a charmer. I think they're going to talk their way into your bed a lot. <laughs> um, so uh, just, you know, be prepared for that. Be prepared for somebody who's um, always ready. Always ready for you. And, and that might be super attractive to you, especially if they're younger and you're older, <laughs> right? Because um, we do uh, peak at different times, women and men. Well, you know, I'm, I'm not saying you have to be with a man, but anyway. Lizard regeneration. As a survivor, you are unparalleled. No matter what happens, you can adapt. Okay, this is definitely talking about your person. Embrace your transformation. Put on your new cloak. You are a master of regeneration. So basically, again, your person's clever. They don't like to lose. So they know how to regenerate themselves. They know how to adapt to their surroundings. They know how to figure things out. They're clever. All right. So if something doesn't go right for them, they find another way. Right. They don't like to take no for an answer. And I'm not saying that in a relationship aspect. I'm saying that in a life aspect. Like if somebody tells them they can't do something, they're like, yeah, watch me. I'll figure it out. And they will. So, uh, yeah, smart. All right. So what we're going to do now is we're going to pull one of my old, old, old cards here. This is a deck that I wrote, where I wrote uh, kind of stealing um, blurbs from other readers. So this is going to be a feelings, their feelings. Like, how are they going to feel about you? All right. So let's pull, uh, one of these cards. You are my secret passion. So this might be somebody, you know, before you guys get together, right? This is somebody who you might, uh, you know, even if you don't know them right now, you could know them right now, but it, this is probably somebody you'll meet before you actually uh, date. You are my secret passion. Um, either that or they're going to keep you a secret for a little bit. But again, passion, passion, seduction, sensuality. Your person's, uh, you know, likes to be active. Just saying. All right, let's pull a zodiac sign, right? Let's pull one of these zodiacs. <laughs> Aries. Okay, kind of makes sense, right? Aries are strong, strong-willed, uh, sometimes stubborn. Um, their fire energy so all that sensuality and seductions make sense all right I like it I like it let's uh let's pull some initials let's see who they could be what their initials could be what do we got here all right I'm gonna move this over here so we can get the initials here. And we have a B, a C, a a G. We had two G's stuck together actually. Um, an S, an H, a P, an F. An O, a V, a U, 
and an A, B, C, oh, oh, and a D. Here we go, a D. All right, interesting. Is your person's initials there? Could be their first name, their last name, their nickname, something like that, or both. Um, if you get both, then, then uh, if you have somebody in mind who it could be, then and you get both initials, their first name and their last name, then you know you are on target. But, uh, you know, just be happy with a first name. That'd be great. All right, that is what I have for you, Pile One. Give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, leave me a comment. All of those things help me, and I appreciate you for it. Till next time, love and light. Okay, Pile Two, if you chose Honor the Masculine, and this one's going to be your reading, we're going to put that aside for a minute and get some tarot first. Five of Pentacles, the Death card, the Chariot, the Emperor, Eight of Cups. Hmm. All right, so, um, well, your person's definitely um, have, has felt left out in the cold. Um, so I don't know if this is somebody who, um, you know, they've been um, passed over or uh, broken up with, but yeah, they have that got a little bit of sad sadness to them, but this is somebody who is not going to show their weakness. I think they're going to keep their weaknesses close to their chest. I don't think this is somebody who has been hurt and therefore they're, I don't want to say they're defensive, but they aren't going to boohoo, right? They're not going to show their vulnerabilities very easily. This is somebody who has gone through a major transformation in their life by the time you meet them. Um, you know, because you might not have, you might not meet them right away, so they might not have gone through this transformation yet. But this is someone who had, a, you know, a major transformation in their life. So again, a major breakup or a death of some sort of somebody, you know, close to them, somebody important or just a big major change that they've had to uh, adapt to and to uh, figure out a new way to live kind of sort of right they had to figure out who they are um, now that they've had had this transformation so um, you know, they, this is somebody who has to learn to let go of what they can't control, right? So I think that's why they don't show their weakness because they, uh, they might, they might have some control issues. I have control issues, so don't take that as a negative, okay? I have control issues. <laughs> um, it's not a, it's not, oh, I'd never be with somebody like that. Doesn't mean they're a bad person, okay? Um, it, but you know what they've gone through I think it has made them somebody who is fear a little bit fearless um, or at least they present that you know they're strong-willed they're driven to success they're driven to succeed because they don't ever want to feel left out again they don't ever want to feel alone again so they are driven to success they're willing to work hard to get what they want um, and sometimes take risks um, but they are they are like not going to feel they're not going to feel this again they at least they don't want to they're try they're going to do everything they can to prevent feeling left out or alone or you know sad yeah they're they they've become the emperor which is somebody who is ambitious and competitive, someone who is alpha, who, who you know displays that alpha male confidence and authority. 
someone who is honest but can be confrontational at times um, because they won't they like to have control but for the most part they're solid and they're stable they are somebody you can count on you know even though they might be a little stubborn um, which you know can be a little offensive to depending on the situation but um, I do feel like they're a good person I do but again like I said you don't like this person you don't have to be with this person um, Eight of Cups tells me that sometimes they just kind of want to escape the material world you know like um, they are driven to success but at times they're just like you know why am I doing this you know like uh, they might like want to retreat to like the mountains or something at, you know like they might want to they probably go 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 and then they got to pull back they kind of got to go in hermit mode a little bit or going to you know be introverted a little bit so and I think that's just a, a, a way that they recharge their energy because they are a go-getter they are driven to success they they do but then they need that or at least they want that downtime and sometimes they think you know like why do I do it why 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 am I so driven to success when you know is it really making me happy so I think that they'll get to a point where they question it I don't know if they can change though I don't know if they would ever be able to change that um, drive that they have that is grown in them from from being hurt at some point in their life so I don't know uh, kind of sounds like my ex-husband a little bit not really because he wasn't a great person <laughs> this person I, 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 I think is okay so far we'll see time to act yeah I, I, I do I think your person has become very courageous and brave and brave they like I said they don't want to feel weak again ever they never want to feel weak so they show that tough exterior they show that braveness that confidence that ambition something important such as a new job or raise yeah I feel like they make money they're driven to success I think they are wealthy or they will be wealthy because they um, they're gonna make sure of it I also think that they're gonna be big spenders though I think they're gonna be um, they're gonna want nice things in life uh, again it's to cover up some things here so there's somebody who's gonna drive an expensive car you know or uh, have things that they think are cool or things that that will get them attention okay we have courage yeah your person has learned to be brave they have courage again they're not afraid to take risks mending bridges I heal rifts I am a mender okay so you know that just tells me that they do have a soft side right right um, they're confident and they're brave but they probably don't like people being mad at them they probably always have to be the good guy so they will do something to be the good guy they're probably generous at times when it's I think when it works for them when it works for them because they want to mend a bridge right they don't want anybody to be mad at them so I kind of feel like they might I want to say buy people off but you know if uh, say you, the two of you get in a fight they're gonna go buy you a dozen roses or maybe even two you know they're not just gonna come with a daisy in their hand they're gonna come with 
a gesture. You know, uh, uh, they're going to be uh, generous in that way where they're going to want to mend the bridge so you think that they are great and fantastic and amazing. Because they don't want you thinking that they're um, a bad person or they don't want you to think less than. They want you to think that they're amazing. So they have some issues, but um, I, I, I don't think I don't think it's necessarily bad. Um, but you know, it depends on you. Earlier disappointments were just rehearsal for the great stuff coming your way. So I think that they are trying to realize that, that they, because they're not going to allow themselves to be hurt or disappointed again. They're going to do everything they, in their power to not be. So your person's going to be very successful. Very, you're going to have the finer things in life. If you end up being with this person, they will um, maybe be a little flashy, a little showy, a little bit. Um, I don't think it's too extravagant, although sometimes maybe with like the fancy car, eh, maybe. But um, I think they're going to act like a regular guy or a regular girl. They're going to act... Like, they're not going to put on airs for anybody. They're not going to think that they're better than anybody because they don't. Actually, they think that they're not worthy, right? That's, you know, that's really how they feel they are. So they're not going to act better than. Um, but they might be a little showy with their toys because they're saying, look at all I've accomplished. Think I'm great because think I'm a hard worker. Think highly of me. Okay, Alright, sorry. Amazon. Here we go. Heartbroken. Deeply hurt. Sad. So, uh, again, your person, we know. We, we They went through something. Alright, so, there you go. That's not saying anything different than you already know. Then you have the elephant, which is greatness. Love is your strength. So that just tells you that they can love and they can love deeply. Leadership is your path. All right, so they're on the right path. They are a leader. They became the emperor. Your wisdom inspires everyone you meet. You can overcome any problem and you will naturally and easily achieve success. So your person has really transformed their life. They've went from this great sadness into this great um, a leader that they are. Someone who can adapt, who can roll with the pen punches, who can become amazing. So that card actually makes me feel a whole lot better about your person because that card just gave me such a sense of warmth. So your person does know how to love. So I am you know, if I was too strong in my convictions on some of the, uh, you know, some of their personality traits, just know that they have capacity for greatness. All right. All right. So now what we're going to do, we're just going to kick it back old school and go to one of my, uh, it's, it's, it's a deck that I used in the beginning when I didn't have that many decks and I wrote down all these uh, feelings. So we're going to get how your person feels or is going to feel about you. It's a deck I don't use very often because it's all handwritten, <laughs> but here we go. I like, oh, it's like we share the same heart and mind. So there you go. It's like you share the same heart and mind. So it's like you guys are connected. It's like you guys are soulmates. Well, duh. That's what this reading's all about, right? So you probably think the same. You probably feel the same. All right. The last thing we're going to get is their zodiac sign. Now, yeah, I don't always take this too hard this just could be they sometimes display 
some of these character traits if they are not actually the, the zodiac that I pull. So you've got Capricorn. So either your person's a Capricorn or if they have it in their chart somewhere or they just take on that personality. With that drive for success, with that leadership, it makes sense. Capricorns are, are good leaders, right? So let's now pull you some initials, all right? So let's see if we can um, get their either their first initial, last initial, or both if we're lucky. Um, that's even if you know who this person is, and if not, you can just keep these initials in mind. But here we go. O. B. U. T. M. N. M N M N O <laughs> uh, D G S V W Z L and an extra B. So there you have a pile two. There's your person's initials. What do you think? Give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, leave me a comment. All those things help me and I appreciate you for it. Till next time, love and light. Okay, pile three, if you chose the Selkie, then this one's gonna be your reading. Let's put this aside for a second and get some tarot first. Three of Wands, King of Pentacles, Nine of Swords, Eight of Wands, Judgment. All right. Um, your person has like determination. They have drive. They are a dreamer, though. Sometimes they see um, possibilities where others don't. So that's kind of a good thing. And uh, they're very optimistic. They could be competitive. Could be competitive. Um, but I like the fact that they are optimistic, like they believe things are just going to work out for them because they probably do. They are the king of pentacles. Now that's somebody who has the latest touch, right? Um, but I just feel like they're competent and reliable, generous, secure. Could be sophisticated, you know, maybe... Um, have like that old soul kind of personality where they just feel um, like somebody you can really depend on. But like I do feel like they worry a lot with this Nine of Swords. I feel like sometimes they get weighed down by things that are out of their control. So they need to uh, kind of learn to uh, stop overthinking, you know, because I kind of feel like they scrutinize their every action and, uh, you know, they beat themselves up or they scrutinize everything. I think they overthink. And I think if they could, like, put a stop to that, they would be uh, so much happier because things do work out for them. I do feel like they are goal-oriented. They're, like, highly motivated to to get what they want. I think this is somebody who wants to travel, wants to see the world, somebody who probably is high energy, somebody who like maybe lives a fast paced life, um, likes, who actually likes competition, 
who does good in competition but likes like likes it. Like they're not just competitive, they actually kind of like like it. Somebody who's like good at multitasking or juggling commitments, things like that. Um, but I, I, I kind of think that they have a clear vision on what they want. Like I kind of feel like... I, so I'm getting like they don't really second guess their themselves too much. Like they have that confidence, but it's like after the fact they're like uh, they beat themselves up a little bit that's where they overthink like like after the fact not before before they kind of they're confident in their decisions they kind of always know which direction they're going to take so huh, let's get let's get a few more let's see what comes out celebration fun and enjoyment so this is somebody who look, probably likes to socialize likes to um, you know go out and have some fun uh, to be a little social <laughs> now this is funny pile one got younger man and now you got younger woman dealings or relationship with a younger woman so your person could be younger than you even though they feel a little sophisticated um hmm. well, that's really interesting right i don't like to put gender in tower so we're not going to go woman but younger somebody's younger and they don't have to be there doesn't have to be a huge age gap but there could be interesting i just think it's interesting out of you know that's a big deck those tea leaves it's a really big deck that younger man came out for pile one and younger woman came out for pile two I just I don't know for some reason I'm fascinated by that um, I don't know. here we go let's get some more enlightenment all right so your person is uh, could you know have psychic abilities it's probably why they trust uh, they trust their decisions right it's not until after that they uh, second guess themselves it's they make a decision they act upon it and then they worry about it <laughs> they worry about it after the fact and it's probably because they are enlightened they do have those instincts that they follow and that's why everything tends to work out for them so I don't know why they they overanalyze things after the fact um, but I do feel like they're connected. I connected to source. I feel like they have strong intuition and they probably have an idea of how the universe works. Which in my eyes makes them a really good person, right? Because when you know the universe works, you know that everything is revolves around love. And love's always a good thing. So that's what makes them a good person in my eyes. Follow your bliss. My soul sings with joy. So there you go. Nice. Your person, um, you know, again, knows, trusts their intuition and, and follows their heart, follows their bliss, wants to be happy, wants to celebrate, wants to be social. So they do things to make themselves happy. And that is kind of a great thing because a lot of people don't know how to make themselves happy they don't know what makes them happy so if your person follows their bliss you got a good one you will be surprised okay so this might not be somebody that you would normally see yourself with like I said before younger person maybe you only date older people and now you're getting a younger person you might be surprised by your feelings towards this person and they might take you by surprise it might not be someone you would ever expect to be with but for some reason you know that this is your person when you meet them so what does the selfie say reclaiming your authenticity yeah I think your person is authentic to themselves I think they do um, 
you know, they live their truth. They don't uh, pretend to be somebody they're not. I do kind of feel that authenticity from them. So they are who they are. Well, it's somebody who wants to get married because you got wedding rings. So this is somebody who's going to want a long-term commitment with you or is looking for that. Somebody who, um, you know, might not like dating. You know, they might be somebody who likes commitment, likes that long-term thing. So they're going to they're gonna be looking for commitment. And good luck. They got the ladybug, which makes a lot of sense. The ladybug, good luck. You are a bright energy. Let worry go and be happy here and now. See, they they gotta let the worry go. Feel good about being a loving and colorful you. Again, being authentic, that's who they are. They just have to, to you know, love themselves for who they are and, and know that other people will too. You bless the world with color and good luck. So, again, everything tends to work out for this person. So, you know, that's a really good thing. All right, so now the next card I'm going to get you is a really old card. It's a, it's a deck that I started with way back when. I uh, hand wrote them because I didn't have that many decks to play with. And I always knew I needed... I needed to build the story with more decks other than just tarot. I don't know. Now I tend to, uh, when I do personal readings for people, I tend to just use tarot. But for on here, I like to build the story. I don't know why. I guess because maybe I'm, I'm doing it for a collective. So I want to make sure I'm, I'm reaching a lot of people where one-on-one -on -one I can just do tarot and I tap into that person's energy. Um, but anyway, this is an old deck. They're all handwritten, so this is going to be their feelings. So let's see what their feelings are going to be towards you. I will do anything to bring you happiness. Nice. So that means they're really going to care, and they're going to really want to make you happy. Um, and they're really going to go above and beyond for that. They're going to want to please you. So we can't hate hurt. We can't hate a person for that. That's uh, that's really nice. All right. The last thing I'm going to do for you is get you a zodiac sign. Now I do take these with a grain of salt. Um, but you know, the, you know, whatever sign I pull, your person can be that sign, or they could have that in their chart, or they could just like display those um, personality traits of that so particular zodiac sign. So let's see what we get. Taurus. I guess it makes sense. Tauruses um, tend to, to be lucky, tend to, uh, you know, really want to follow their bliss and, and things tend to work out for them. So that, I guess that makes sense. All right, so now let me pull you some initials and see if we can get, uh, you know, some, your person's either first initial, last initial, or if we're lucky, both. And that's even if you know who this person is, which you might not. You might not know them yet. All right, here we go. We have, let me move this. We have... B, E, L, M, J, K, H, V, U, O, and the uh, rest are doubles, another M, another K, and another H. All right, so there you have it, Pile 3. What do you think? Give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, leave me a comment.
all those things help me and I appreciate you for it. Till next time, love and light.